Finland in white. Tom Davis from Great Britain in blue. Like I said earlier on, both these guys have had a really tough competition up until now. Both deserving to be in this place and both deserving a medal based on their performances. And the icing on the cake for Tom would be a medal today, considering the efforts that he's made to get to this event after losing his passport in Madrid last weekend. Um, cost him a couple of days staying in, in Madrid and then travelling um, the length of the country to get a renewal and off to Argentina soon. So for him, this would be all worthwhile. Lovely attack there from Tom. Transition into the Niwaza from Vita. Very tight at the moment. Neither one of these guys really wanting to make that ultimate sacrifice here of committing. Tom dressed up on attacks and uh, Shido been awarded to Finland. Changes the direction of this fight a little bit. Um, is he having a, a Shido shadowing you? Any mistake would then result in a, a Yuko being put on the board to the opposition. And um, Tom Davis would be saying thank you very much. And that's a lovely sort of change of direction for Tom. Could have capitalized down in the Niwaza, but um, very slow to react there. Oh, and a lovely pickup. Oh, and it couldn't have. <laughs> so was Zari. And as Osakomi. Oh, my goodness me. And. He'll be very disappointed in himself to allow that one to get away from him. So nod of the head, you know, that is thinking, oh, goodness me, why did I let that one go? Could have been all over and done with. But he's leading with a Wazari on the board. A great attack there. Controlling nicely his opponent. Good attack from Vita of Finland with the Osota, but not phasing Davis at all. Looking for the Jujikitami there. So Mate called um, just so that they can, sh can sh tidy themselves up. Obviously gives him time to compose himself. Any lapse of concentration here could, could cost dearly. And that's the most important thing that he keeps focused and strong. No vital mistakes now at this stage, and Tom's doing extremely well here to dominate this, this fight and has done right from the beginning. As we saw in the earlier matches in that semi-final, he was very, very unlucky against the Russian. 
when there was a counter attack from um, Megamedov that um, could have been so different for him. Oh, and a lovely Kojigak hooking in nice and deep, collecting a Yuko on the way down and now looking to tie it up in the but Their head isn't controlled there. He's only got that arm. But again, still a great attack and making the opportunity for Vita to come back a little bit more harder. So the score So uh, Koji Gak that I thought scored a Yuko has been actually taken off the board. What reason I don't know, but um just glad he wasn't relying on it. Neither this is where Tom's gotta be careful now. But he's got three seconds to go, and I think he's a clever enough lad to, to keep his distance and nothing silly. But you can see anything can be happening. You can still throw on the last second of a match. And um, and that's a great win and a bronze medal and he, a little smirk for Tom and a well-deserved bronze medal for this young man at 81 kilos of the Men's World Cup Tournament in Portugal.